Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. This video here, I thought I'd do uh, reading some of these threats I've been getting. I've been get, like, if I was to read every single message I've got in my inbox, luckily I've got an automatic response um, thing because I've got a hun I've got hundreds. I've got hundreds and I think what's happened is one of my videos has been shared to a particular group where they've all just uh, jumped on board and started just coming at me. They're coming at me. And the reason they're coming at me is because of a video I made with some dairy farmers. I was debate, debating some dairy farmers. Now, this is on my Facebook page. What happened is I was at a slaughterhouse shutdown. We did a shutdown at a slaughterhouse, walking to do the TV interview. Really? A lot of, yeah, all the dairy, we're we're dairy farmers. We've been dairy farmers oh, really? all and our life. Got... An older couple out the front of their house. Now, they engaged in conversation with me Okay, and we had a debate. Camera was rolling. This debate got 1.9 million views. It reached 4.6 million people. It got pumped. The, one of the most amazing things with this, I got 1,797 link clicks. They clicked on my link that many times, my, and the link was a Challenge 22 link. What has happened because of that, I got a message from Challenge 22, an email saying that I brought 886 people signed up to my Challenge 22 link uh, this week. Crazy amount. Now they've actually sent me another email asking me to, you know, hold off with the challenge because they've got three groups, each with a thousand uh, participants, but 886 in a week I signed up through my link. This is what I mean. This video went viral and it's created massive awareness. Now, the reason for this video, people have been posting on my wall. Now, I thought I'd read the posts on my wall because if I, I can't read all the comments, the comment section is caked. If you guys want to go in there and have a look and sort of add your two cents, but there's a lot, there's a lot of hatred on there. Now, interesting because if you watch the, the video, I wasn't the one being rude, which is pretty crazy if you, if you think about it. Now, let's just go through some of these comments. I'm just going to read them out randomly what people have been posting on my page. And, you know, we can offer our thoughts on them. Damn, that was a nice juicy steak. A little bit of blood cooked perfectly. And this guy has posted a picture of his steak. I don't know if he, if he thinks that that's like the first time I've seen steak. I used to eat steak three times a day sometimes. I was eating animals three times a day. I know what steak looks like. What I'm more concerned about is the fact that he thinks eating a piece of a dead body that has blood in it is delicious. Blood and tendons and there's a lot of fecal matter in meat. Also, red meat's very carcinogenic and that's not a that's not a secret. It's like on the cancer website. I mean, I've also had people post pictures of animals that they've killed, like trying to offend me. I just think it's a bit, a bit sadistic to be honest, but we'll keep going through. Kind of want to see this toss pot get a flogging. Okay, so he, he wants to see me get a flogging. Not sure why you want to see me get a flogging. I was nothing but polite in that debate. We engaged in a polite discussion. I think there's a little bit of um, what's happening is people are, and it's a bit of violent opposition happening. Here's another one. What gives you the right to accost people like this? You have obviously no perception of life. I didn't accost them. I walked past them. We engaged in a discussion. They wanted to know why we were protesting. I talked to them about it and we had a discussion. You obviously have no perception of life. I have a perception of life, not death. My perception of life is to, is to let animals live. Do you cry when you cut the stems off a carrot before you eat them? No, no I don't because a carrot isn't sentient. They don't, they don't suffer, they don't have a brain. I'm afraid you've done yourself and your beliefs a great desecration. I've done myself and my beliefs a great desecration. I'm not the one who believes a carrot is sentient. I'm sorry. You need a good hard smack in the snout. Hashtag eat meat. So I need a smack in the, in the snout for being against animal cruelty. Would you think I would need a smack in the snout if I was defending your dog from being killed? I don't think so. I think you'd be on my side with that, buddy. God, you're an annoying c Feel good harassing people all the time? Shut the f*** up. You, ma you make good vegans look bad, twat. So what exactly does a good vegan look like to you? One that doesn't say anything? One that just sits there in a corner and just doesn't eats their vegan food and doesn't say anything to you? I'm sure you'd still have a problem with them. The, prob the problem with this, these people think that I harassed these, this older couple when I was just engaging in polite discussion as, as we walked past. They were being rude to me, but no one mentions that. I went out for a hunt yesterday, shot me two pigs, butchered and skinned them myself. Who's up for a roast and some bacon and eggs on toast? Bacon's a type one carcinogen and I don't know if, you know, promoting the abuse of animals is something that I would be proud of, mate. Pigs are pretty innocent, mate. Like, you know, you're gonna walk up and shoot them with a gun. You know, it's easy to shoot someone, mate, but like, you know, th these pigs did nothing wrong to you. So I just think like, that's just senseless violence. I used to engage in senseless violence myself, but 
you know, I was a very sad individual. I had a lot of anger inside and I was a very lost individual. You know, it takes more of a man to stand up for these animals. Look at the majority of people. People think that being an activist makes you popular somehow, but look at the majority of people. They hate me for speaking up politely about these animals in slaughterhouses. Now, I'm the bad guy and all they're, they're rubbing into me is that, you know, they go out and hunt animals and hey, hey, it's heat's funny. Hey, we eat bacon and eggs, showing me pictures of their dead animals and their plates. It's quite disturbing, really. Here we go, here's another one. Disrespectful ass hat. Just watched you confront two elderly farmers. Confront them? I confronted them? If you've seen, I, I edited out the part at the start where we had a discussion and we started talking normally. It wasn't like I walked up and confronted them. You confront two elderly milk farmers and was appalled by your complete lack of respect. Complete lack of respect? I spoke with total respect. They were calling me names. You vegan c**ts need to go seek help. Why do we need to seek help? We're against animal cruelty, the same thing that you're against if it was your dog. Would love to see you, you hard ass, come and attempt that shit with me, you c**thead. What, would you like to see me come and politely talk to you about being against animal cruelty, would you? Whoa, what, what would that make you do? Want to beat me up or something, bro? Like, hey, I'd just be like, hey, do you realize that, you know, you care for your dog and you expect moral treatment for your dog and yourself, but you know, these animals are being slaughtered. What do you think of that? What, polite Socratic questioning? polite discussion, you'd want to you want to see me be a hard ass. Am I trying to be a hard ass? Not at all. Not at all. I'm not trying to be hard at all, mate. I'm just speaking up for animals like I'd want to be spoken for if I was in a slaughterhouse. Here we go, here's another one. A knife in a pig's throat is the same as a knife in a dog's throat, which would be the same as a knife in your throat. That there is probably the most logical, rational, sane reasoning I've heard. I don't even know why we're arguing. A knife in a dog's throat is immoral. A knife in a pig's throat is the same thing. A knife in a pig's throat is the same as a knife in a dog's throat, exactly, and which is the same as a knife in your throat. Exactly, I would agree with that. I think he's trying to do this as a little underlying threat here. Keep attacking elderly people in their own backyards and you'll soon get to know how the pigs feel. So he thinks I went and attacked some elderly people in their backyards. Absolute lie. We walked past and they engaged in discussion with me about the protest. And it was actually their front yard, not their backyard. And you'll soon get to know how the pigs feel. I know how the pigs feel. Actually, I don't know how the pigs feel. And if you felt their suffering for one minute, for just one second, okay, you would not have the point of view that you have, Tom. And, and to be honest, a knife in my throat, I'm not afraid of that. I am not afraid of that. The, the animals are going through a lot worse, mate. And like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna scare me into silence, okay? And I didn't attack no elderly people, okay? I have morals. I have morals and we had a polite discussion. If you watch that video again, you see who's being rude, not me. You're Australia's biggest f**k If you wanna eat plants, go right ahead. Doesn't mean you have to lead a cult to follow your pathetic, boring life. Who's in a cult? Who is in a cult? This cult here is about defending animals and being against animal cru cruelty. Values you probably adhere to yourself with other animals, like with dogs and cats and koalas, okay? Probably values you already possess. If you don't, then I'd say that you're a pretty rare individual if you don't um, think that animal cruelty is wrong. But when I eat plants, okay, it's not the fact of eating plants, it's the fact that, that eating meat causes the suffering and death needlessly of innocent beings. How does that make me Australia's biggest f it? I don't, I don't know. If there was a worldwide fuckwit competition, you would win every time, hands down. Why am I fuckwit? <laughs> what is this? Being against animal cruelty in this society makes you a fuckwit, then I will be the biggest fuckwit out there. Hey, I don't care. If, if it means, you know, I'm being consistent with my morality, if I'm being a peaceful person towards innocent, defenseless animals, then yeah, call me a fuckwit. I'm, I'm down with that. You should be put down. That means like euthanized, I think. You should be put down or killed. You should be put down like all the sickly animals in this world. You vegan cunts are fucked. Take a long, hard look at yourself and try to realize you're a dead set drop kick. Wow, that's a lot of descriptive words, Ted. You seem pretty angry at me there. All the sickly animals in this world, they're sickly because of the uh, conditions they're kept in, in, in farms. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, mate. I have looked in the mirror and I've said to myself, you know, is supporting the suffering and death of these animals really what I want to be about? You know, when there's alternatives. I've looked at myself in the mirror and I've asked myself questions about this. Have you? Have you looked at yourself in the mirror and said, hey, if it's unnecessary to cause this harm for fleeting taste pleasure when we have vegan alternatives, then why do it? Ask yourself that. Stop forcing your views on people and get a proper job, you moron. You know, my job is to defend animals, to help animals, to create awareness about animal suffering and animal cruelty and unjustified animal use. Better than working in a job that perpetuates their suffering, like being a dairy farmer or working in a slaughterhouse and stabbing animals to death. Not saying it's their fault. They were brought in and indoctrinated into this sick society, so they're doing the best with whatever knowledge they have. 
and they were pushed into this type of work. Forcing my views, animals are being forced into slaughterhouses and having knives forced across their throat. I'm not forcing my views on anyone. I'm asking them to question their own morality, the, the morals that they already hold. They already hold morals like dogs should be treated well. <laughs> Okay, I'm just pointing out the inconsistencies and the contradictions in their own moral code, in their own moral code, in your moral code. Before you go around preaching your soy message to everyone, you better know that soy is very high in estrogen. So therefore, tiring men, oh, therefore he must mean turning men into women, but he's written tiring men into women. So jam your soy product into your vagina and enjoy a f***ing hamburger. Well, don't you think there is estrogen in dairy? You don't think there's any estrogen in dairy? It's breast milk from a cow, dude. There's actual mammalian, meaning from mammals, estrogen in the breast milk of a cow, okay? There's progesterone, estrogen, actual mammal hormones, okay? Soy contains phytoestrogen, completely different. I'm gonna enjoy a fat, juicy steak with some bacon on the side, smothered in cheese and fresh cow's milk to wash it down with tonight. So you probably just had about six carcinogens in one meal there, like you better be careful. So many animals have to suffer and die for one meal. I don't know what you're trying to do, mate, but you're trying to make me feel upset, triggered. You don't think I already know people eat these foods. and They're not foods, it's complete suffering and violence and death. And to rub that in my face, I'd be careful if I was you, because if you die of some terminal illness in hospital because you're feeding yourself known carcinogens, would you still have this attitude while you're on chemotherapy in hospital? I wouldn't, I personally would be humble. I would be humble because you never know what's around the corner, especially when you're perpetuating animal abuse. And I, I do I do believe that what goes around comes around, my friend, eh? You're a, you're a f***ing flog, you wanker. The old bloke and his wife schooled your ass on the whole milk debate. Um, if you want to watch the, the, the Dairy Farmers debate, it's on my Facebook page, check it out, I'll even link it down below. But we'll see who got schooled there, and you know, I'm not trying to pick on old people if that's what people want to think. If you watch the debate, you'll see who's actually being rational, polite, and logical. So what, what basically has been happening, there's three stages of truth, okay? Ridicule, meaning you get either get laughed at, violent opposition, Okay, and then it's accepted as self-evident. I've got a lot of people just going bang straight for violent opposition, and I don't hate any of you guys. I don't hate any of you farmers. There's no hate towards any of you meat workers, any slaughterhouse workers. I understand you've been heavily indoctrinated into a sick society. That's not your fault. But it does become your responsibility when you see the violence, you see the suffering, you become aware of it, and you don't change. What I think is happening is with these people, I've hit a spot. I've hit a real soft spot with them because they actually know the truth. Dairy farmers know that cow suffer when their, their calves are taken from them. They know more than anyone else. They know how intelligent these animals are. So when a dairy farmer hears me speaking up about it, they get all like, oh wow. They get a little bit weird about it. I'm bringing these emotions up to the surface and it, and it makes them you know, violently oppose it. That's the video. It's very interesting, the responses I got from people. My Facebook page has been absolutely nailed by angry, angry medias and farmers and things like that. But that means I'm reaching the right people. So I just wanna say that's not gonna stop me. So I'm gonna keep speaking out for animals and if you're watching this and you're one of these people then you should really start analyzing why you believe the things you believe and why you believe animals were put here to suffer and die for your dinner table i'll see you on the next video peace we pay wages to idiots like no, this no. <laughs> first they laugh at you then they fire you then you win